Hello everybody, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to learn how to sublimate tapered tumblers with slanted sides. Just look at these adorable cups. Now these are a bit trickier to sublimate than cups that are straight um, and not tapered, but I'll guide you through all of the steps from setting up and printing your design to sublimating these amazing cups for your summertime beverages. So let's get started. Aren't these some of the cutest tumblers that you've ever seen? But more than that, I'm so excited to show you how to sublimate these tapered tumblers. Like I said, the slanted shape makes them a little trickier to prepare and sublimate, but after watching this tutorial, you'll be ready to make your own. Now to create your sublimation design in the right shape to wrap around the slanted tumbler blank, you'll need some basic sublimation supplies like a sublimation printer and a dedicated convection oven. This part is super important because did you know that once you sublimate in an oven, it's no longer food safe? <laughs> Craft safely and use separate ovens for cooking and sublimating. And speaking of safety, make sure you always sublimate it in a well-ventilated area with a window open and a fan blowing the fumes away from you. Now you'll also need some sublimation paper. Make sure you have the larger eight and a half by 14 inch legal size, or your wrap will be too short for your tumbler. Aside from those and some other supplies that you can find in my materials list, you'll need some online tools that you may not have used before, but no worries, I will show you everything you need in this tutorial. And it's really so easy and honestly only takes a few minutes. Follow along with me and you'll see just how easy it can be. But first, let's get you started with my free tapered tumbler designs. They're so cute and I can't wait to see you make these. Step one, get designs for tapered tumblers. I've got some free designs for you to use. Go to jennifermaker.com slash 501 and look for libraries in the red bar at the top. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or enter the library. Search the page for design number 501, and when you find it, click it to download the zip file. If you don't know how to open up zip files, check out jennifermaker.com slash svgs to learn how. Inside, you'll find three adorable kawaii-themed backgrounds that you can sublimate onto tumblers. A cute beachy theme, a super sweet tropical fruit design, and an adorable flowers and bee design. I've also included accent bands to disguise where the edges meet. They say sunshine, sweet, and bloom, and the colors complement the designs. You can use these for other designs that you may find or make too. Now that you have the designs, let's get started. Step 2. Measure your tumbler and create a template. Start by going to a web browser and opening the free template maker website at jennifermaker.com slash tapered label generator. Using a flexible measuring tape, measure the top and bottom circumference of your tumbler as well as its height. On the template generator, fill in the top circumference, bottom circumference, and height fields with those measurements. My tapered tumbler measures 11 and a half inches around the top, eight and three quarter inches around the bottom, and it's seven inches high. But yours will probably be different, unless you get the exact ones I did, of course. We want the wrap to cover our tumbler 100%, so enter 100 in the wrap coverage field. Enter zero in the corner radius field for square corners. I'll leave the container outline box checked. Click Generate Template to preview your sublimation wrap template. If everything looks right, click the orange Download This Label button. The website will ask for your email address. Once you enter it and click the Sign Up button, your template file will automatically download. It will be called tapered.pdf. In order to upload your template file into Canva, it cannot be a PDF, but don't worry, I have a fix. We'll use the conversion website to convert the PDF to a PNG. Go to onlineconvert at jennifermaker.com slash PDF to PNG. Click on the arrow next to the Choose File button in the large green upload rectangle and select From Device. Select the tapered.pdf file and click Open. 
Just below that, in the optional settings, check the box next to Remove Background. Scroll past the rest of the options, leaving them on their default settings, and click the green Start button at the very bottom. After a few moments, the web page will refresh. The file should download automatically. If it doesn't, just click the green Download button. The file will be called tapered.png and looks like this. Step 3. Upload your template and design files to Canva. We're going to use software called Canva for this step, so first sign into your account. If you don't have an account, don't worry. No problem. You can sign up for one free at jennifermaker.com slash Canva. On the home screen, click on Create a Design. Click on Custom Size, then use the drop-down menu to change your units from PX to IN, which means inches. Then enter 14 for the width and 8.5 inches for the height and click Create New Design. Click Uploads, then the Upload Files button to select the background image you want to use for your Tumblr. I'll use the beach-themed image on my tapered Tumblr and click Open to upload it to Canva. Now click on the file from the Images menu on the left to add it to your canvas. Click and drag the design out of the way so we can add and resize our template. Click Upload. Select the template PNG. The template PNG will appear black in the Canva Uploads menu, but don't worry, I promise it's there. Click it to add a template to your canvas. You'll notice some rectangles on the sides of the bounding box. Click and drag them inward until the upper edges of the template and the bounding box are almost touching. Now do this for the top and bottom of the template. This will make it easier to measure the template and make sure it's the right size. Now we'll use the rulers to adjust the template size. If you don't see rulers on your canvas, click File, it's next to Home at the top, and then View Settings. Select Show Rulers and Guides. Using the ruler on top of the canvas, line up the top left corner of the template's bounding box to the zero mark in the upper left hand corner. Use the circle handle in the bottom right hand corner to resize the width of the template to the 11 and a half inch mark. On the design, use the rectangles on the sides of the bounding box to adjust its size to 12 inches wide by 8 and a half inches tall. Now click and drag the design so its top left corner is at 0, 0 on the ruler. Now that we have the background and template uploaded and resized, it's time for the accent band that will help create a seamless Tumblr wrap. Click Upload Files again, locate the Sunshine Accent Band PNG, and add it to your canvas. Drag it to the right-hand side of the Tumblr template, then use the rotate handle on the bottom of the bounding box to angle it to 11 degrees until it lines up with the edge of the template. Use the rectangles on the top and bottom of the bounding box to resize the accent band until the top and bottom edges are pushed just off the canvas. Since we don't need to fill the entire page with ink, let's create rectangles to cover the parts of the design that we're not going to use. And since my tumbler is tapered, the edges will need to be at an angle too. Click the Elements tab and select the first square. Click the color box and change it to white. Using the circle on the bottom corner of the bounding box, drag the edge of the square until it's 8.7 inches tall. And use the rotate icon below it to angle the rectangle to negative 11 degrees. Line it up with the left side of the template until it lines up with the left edge of the template. Repeat with the right side, getting another square from the elements tab and changing its color to white. Use the corner circles to resize the square to 8.7 inches tall. And use the rotate icon to angle it to 11 degrees. Line it up with the right side of the template. And resize the rectangles off the edge of the canvas until the background image is no longer visible except for the area inside the template. Click the position button and select the layers tab and then click all. Find the template layer and hover your cursor over it. Click the three dots that appear, and then click Delete to delete that layer. Our Tumblr wrap file is almost finished. Click the Share button, and then click Download. Leave the file type as PNG, 
and click the download button. And there we go. Our tapered tumbler sublimation wrap is all done. Wasn't that easy? Okay, well, there was a lot of steps. <laughs> I love Canva. It is so useful for things like this. If you want to learn more about designing your own files in Canva, check out my Canva workshop. I'll teach you how to make several kinds of designs with their free, fun, and powerful tools. You can learn more information over at jennifermaker.com slash Canva workshop. Step four, use Google Docs to print your Tumblr wrap. In your web browser, go to docs.google.com. If you're not already logged into your Google account, you'll be prompted to do so. Create a new blank document by clicking on the plus sign. To adjust the size and settings, click File and then Page Setup. Where it says Apply To, make sure it's set to Whole Document. Change the orientation to landscape, the margins to zero, and the paper size to legal. Click OK to save the settings. Next, click on Insert, select Image, and click Upload from Computer. Find the file from Canva and click Open to upload it. Click the design to ensure it's the correct size, and now we're ready to print. Click on the printer icon. Under More Settings, change the paper size to Legal, or 8.5 by 14 inches, and the scale to 100. You may have to click Print Using System Dialog to see the rest of the options. Under Layout, make sure Flip Horizontally is checked. For print settings, select Photo Paper Matte and Best Quality. Remember that there can be some variances between sublimation printers, computers, and operating systems, so your settings might not look exactly like mine. In fact, they probably won't. The most important things to keep in mind are that you want to flip or mirror your design and you want to select the highest print quality. Make sure you have the right sublimation paper loaded correctly into your printer and click print. After printing your page, allow it to dry for just a little bit and then we're ready to sublimate. Step five, sublimate your tapered tumbler. When I check my sublimation cookbook for tapered tumblers, it says to preheat the convection oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. I like to put an oven thermometer right in the center to make sure the temperature is correct. While waiting for the convection oven to come up to temperature, use a lint-free cloth and a little rubbing alcohol to wipe down the outside of the tumbler. This removes any oils or lint from the surface, which means a better sublimation. Trim off the excess paper next to the accent band. With the printed side facing the tumbler, make sure the print is right side up. Leave the accent band ends visible at both the top and bottom of the cup. Slip the left edge of the paper under the accent band. Make sure the accent band stays positioned vertically and use a pencil to make a line along the edge where the ends overlap. Remove the wrap from around the tumbler and use a paper trimmer or scissors to trim the excess. Now, starting with the accent band vertically against the tumbler, wrap the cup tightly again, making sure the accent band is straight up and down. The trimmed edge of the design should overlap the accent band just slightly. Hold the wrap tightly around the tumbler with one hand and use your other hand to apply heat-resistant tape to secure the top, middle, and bottom. If there are gaps between the image and the tumbler, there will probably be white spots, ghosting, or other defects in the image once it's sublimated. So tape it really, really well. Continue taping over the seam, keeping the wrap nice and tight. Once your seam is taped, check to see if the paper is tight enough. Press hard and try to smooth the paper from both sides toward the seam. If the paper ripples or moves, remove the tape and try again for a tighter wrap. Use scissors to trim away the excess paper just above the rim of the tumbler. Use several pieces of heat-resistant tape along the top edge of the tumbler, starting with the north, south, east, and west points, then filling in the spaces in between. 
Next, trim the excess wrap away from the bottom of the tumbler and tape along the bottom edge of the tumbler, again starting with the north, south, east, and west points before filling the spaces in between. Now feel for the edge of the paper underneath the seam. Take your small scraper tool or your fingernail and press along that line, pushing the paper and the ink into the cup as close and as tight as you can. This is the best way to get the ink to transfer nicely with a less obvious seam. Continue to use your scraper to burnish the tape around the top edge of the tumbler. This is to get any air pockets out, which may interfere with sublimation. Now do the same on the bottom. Wrap the entire tumbler in a layer of butcher paper and tape it in place. Make sure none of the tumbler is showing. It should be completely covered with butcher paper. The last step before we heat is to wrap the tumbler with one more material to make sure that your sublimation print stays really, really tight to the tumbler. There are a few different ways to do this. The first way I'll show you uses shrink wrap tubes. Some sublimation tumblers come with these shrink wrap tubes, but not all do. If you order them separately, be sure they're the right size to easily fit the widest part of your tumbler. Open a shrink wrap tube and pull it over your tumbler. Put on your heat resistant gloves and use your heat gun to slowly heat the wrap so it conforms to the tumbler. Make sure most of the wrinkles are smooth, but don't make it too tight or it will pull apart in the oven. Another option is to use thick silicone bands to hold the wrap in place. Space them out evenly over the tumbler for the best results. And make sure that your top and bottom most bands are as close to the edges as possible. The third option is to use a silicone sleeve. It's pretty easy to use and locks with a click. You can make it tighter by pulling the edge pieces. Once your tumbler is all wrapped up and ready to go, turn on your fan and open a window if you haven't already. When the convection oven is the correct temperature, carefully place the prepared tumbler in the oven and set a timer for six minutes. At the three minute mark, open the convection oven and rotate the tumbler 180 degrees. Be careful not to breathe in the sublimation fumes. After the time is up, remove the tumbler from the oven with a heat-proof glove, still being mindful of those fumes. Let it cool for about 15 to 20 minutes on a heat-safe mat. Then you can peel away the wraps, tape, and sublimation paper. If any paper sticks to the tumbler, you can just rinse it away with some water. And look how adorable this is. I love it. Don't these look so great? I can't get over how cute these tumblers are. The little faces on these little guys are just so adorable. And in addition to the Make Market brand of tumblers that I found at Michael's, I also found these on Amazon, which might be a little bit more convenient for you if you're not like, you don't have a Michael's near you. And they're actually a little bit sparkly, which is so fun. And they turned out great too, just like the Make Market ones. Now you might not have the same tumblers as I do, and that's okay. Adjusting the template is super easy. Just use a flexible measuring tape to measure the height of your tumbler, as well as the circumference of the top and bottom. Then plug those measurements into the template generator website and follow the tutorial from there. Be sure to enter 100 in the wrap coverage field and zero in the corner radius field and angle your white rectangles so they match the angle of your template. It's really super easy. To make your sublimation print last as long as possible on your tumbler, I recommend not washing these in the dishwasher. Instead, hand wash them only with warm soapy water. Following these instructions will ensure that your sublimated tumbler keeps its bright and beautiful design from fading for a long time to come. And if you wanna learn more about sublimation, check out my popular sublimation cookbook, right here at jennifermaker.com slash sublimation cookbook. It covers all my favorite recipes for creating amazing sublimation designs on over 150 different blanks. Plus it includes all the super helpful sublimation tips and tricks that I've learned and can't wait to share with you.
And if you want some inspiration, I also have a group just for sublimation crafting. Join us at jennifermaker.com slash sublimation group to ask questions, share ideas, and get inspired. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or ask in the group. My amazing team and I love to help. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. Mm -hmm.